Hey guys, it's Dr. Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm going over the It's My Pleasure palette by ColourPop Cosmetics. So this palette released like a couple weeks ago and I was just like, no, I'm not going to purchase it. And then what did I do? I purchased it because, you know, I just couldn't contain myself. Actually, no, that's not the reason. So I wasn't going to purchase it because when I first looked at the promo shots, I was like, oh, the palette is very, very pretty. But I was just like, I have those colors. I mean, I have pigments in these shades. I have, you know, other shadows. But then I saw a couple of videos. I saw some live swatches. And then I placed and get buying something else off of ColourPop. And I was like, you know what? I want it. So I'm going to go ahead and get it. So this is what the palette looks like right here if you have not seen it. So it comes with this plastic packaging, which I'm really not a fan of when it comes to these nine pan palettes from ColourPop. You know, these are not the same. Uh, I feel like just the, qu the quality is better with the cardboard. Uh, for some reason, they've been doing the nine pan palettes in this particular plastic uh, finish. And if you look at it, I know it's kind of like this on the box or the unit carton, which I have right here. So the unicarton is right here and it looks pretty busted, but I just feel like the metallic rose gold doesn't very, it doesn't look complete. I think it kind of meant it to be where it was just kind of like the ink ran out and it wasn't a full stroke, but I just feel like this is going to rub off very soon. Same with this on the back. And I don't know if you have multiple ColourPop lipsticks, like I have a lot of the, um, the liquid lipsticks you know like that stuff rubs off of it so quickly and you don't even know like you don't even see any of the designs on the tubes or the packaging so i would just really like if they would just do the nine pan palettes in the in the cardboard but the nine pan palettes do come with a mirror right here that's the full size of the palette i did not take off the plastic sleeve the cover let's see so this is what the mirror looks like right here and then you get these gorgeous nine shades that's nice in the theme. I do like the themes that they have been coming out with. So I'm kind of excited to see what they have coming next. So this palette, like I said, retails for $12. You know, ColourPop is made here in the USA, which is here is actually in Los Angeles. I was, did I say Los Angeles, Illinois? I'm tripping. Los Angeles, California. I live in Illinois. I don't live in California. But it is formulated here in the United States. And they are cruelty-free. The packaging is recyclable. And the shelf life of this palette is, does it say? Oh, 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 oh wait, ColourPop. That's very weird because usually they have the uh, once you open a date on it. But on the back, you do have... The shade names, the shade names are inverted. I believe the middle ones are the same, but it's actually, this belongs over here, that belongs, vice versa, you get it. So let me go ahead and jump into some swatches of this palette. So have nine shades, just excuse my nails. They're looking pretty busted. So the first shade that we have is pretty cool, pretty cool. And it is a matte with glitter in it. Hmm. Why color pop? Why do we keep doing this? It's pretty fair and it's pretty a mauve tone, but it has gold glitter specks in it. It kind of reminds me of the one in the Sweet Nothings palette. The second shade right here is Do or Doe. Super pretty. And then the next shade in the top row is called Kittenfish. So for the second row, we have these gorgeous metallics. We have Chiclet. Look how rich that is. <laughs> then the second shade we have is Earthshine. That is really not a good swatch again. I'm going to go ahead and re-swatch that. That is an iridescent color with a dual chrome glitter finish. And then the next shade that we have is Bare Minimal. Then the last row we have Sleeper, it's gorgeous matte color. The next day we have is Fan Fiction. I'm going to re-swatch that again for you. And then the last shade is Mr. Sandman, which is gorgeous. I love this color. So these are the swatches of the It's My Pleasure palette. Look at this. Look at this payoff, though. 
So stay tuned for the demo and we'll talk at the end what I think about the palette. So let's get started on this look. I have my eyebrows filled in by the ABH Brow Definer in the shade Caramel. And then I have my eyelids primed with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Caffeine. So I'm going to go in with my Sephora Pro 10 number brush. And I'm going to start with the shade uh, Fan Fiction. And this is it right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and dip in and just apply this in the crease. I'm going full out pink. We're not gonna go with like a brown shade. Just gonna see where this takes us. Thinking very halo eye-ish, kind of cat eye. So like I said before, I was not planning on buying this palette. It's like I have these colors, but then there were certain colors in here. And I just say yes, you know what? I think I need these. So, so far this color is picking up nicely. Enjoying it. It looks good. It's easy to blend. And I did not set my primer. I've really stopped setting my primer. Just really enjoy getting top pigmentation from my shadows. I'm just gonna fan and kind of feather that out right there. Okay, so this color is nice. So how is you guys week going? Is it going okay? It's been so cold here. The weather is so bipolar. <laughs> I'm like, I just can't even deal. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna uh, pick up a little smaller blending brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade uh, Sleeper which is this darker mauve color right here, darker browny purplish color. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my Sephora crease brush and I'm gonna put this like right there in the crease and I think maybe on the inner corners, I think I'm feeling like a little halo situation today. Oh, that, that's a pretty color. Okay, I only tapped that color in once and look how much it picked up. So be careful, this look can get dark really quickly. And that color looks so much more brown in the pan. Okay, there is kind of a lot of kick up with these shadows. But you know what? I don't know if I care. <laughs> and I'm just gonna kind of pat that in right there on the inner and outer V. This is so pretty. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my small tart shader brush right here. And I'm gonna go in with the shade called, um, let's see, I'm gonna go in with Chiclet right here. This gorgeous dark, true purple shade and when I swatched it it seemed very pigmented here it is on the brush right there and I'm not gonna wet it I'm just gonna apply it oh that applies nicely and I'm gonna bring it up a little bit over my natural crease or my folds in my eye so you can see it when I open my eyes And I'm not gonna cover up that outer V. I'm just gonna kind of keep it right there. And for right now, I don't think I'm going to connect it. I think I'm just gonna leave it. That shade really picks up very nicely. I had to do no work with it. When I was swatching these when it first came, I just swatched the metallics, but I feel like ColourPop kind of stepped up their game with the shimmers. They just felt really buttery, really soft. And so far I am here with this. Okay, so now I do want to go in with the shade uh, Bare Minimum. I just want to give it a little hint of this fuchsia color. Like these colors, they're just like, yes, speaking to me. 
I'm just going to take a tiny bit, okay? And I'm just going to kind of put it right on the outside of that shade that we had was called Chiclet. And I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. Just a tiny bit. Give it a tiny bit of brightness. And this is applying so easily too. Colors like this, chick, uh, bare minimum, right here. I'm sorry, I don't even know if I showed it to you beginning. I just said I was going to pick it up. Colors like this usually tend to be so hard to apply. And look how easily that went on to the inner and outer corners. I'm just going to take... Uh, see just a tiny dab more okay so now I'm really looking forward to using this color called Mr. Sandman and I'm gonna put this in the middle just fill in that blank spot that we have I'm using the same brush I just wiped it off in a clean uh, washcloth that I use okay this color first of all stunning and I'm just going to bring it up here and kind of feather it over just a little bit. I'm not going to drag it all the way over here or just a tiny bit. And I'm just kind of layering it up because this one doesn't have so much opacity. It's kind of iridescent. Oh my goodness. Okay. I am here for it. Okay. I just want to make it, I love the color, but I just want to make it a little bit more opaque. So I'm going to go ahead and take uh, some Fix, no, not Fix Plus, sorry, Urban Decay uh, All Nighter Setting Spray. Spray it, my brush. Oh yeah. And that just gave it a little extra foiledness. Same thing on the other side. Brush is still damp. This is like a beautiful spotlight eye. And then I'm going to go in with um, Earthshine right here. This color. And I'm going to, let's see, I'll, I'm going to change brushes. I'm going to go ahead with this little pencil brush. Pick up a little bit of that shade. And I'm just going to dab it because I tend to kind of go overboard sometimes with my inner corner highlights oh my goodness I'm, I'm loving these shades okay so now that we got all of our shadows on it took not a lot of time look how this look is looking it's looking great my palette is looking crazy, like a mess, but I'm going to go in with my clean uh, 224 SC Synthetic MAC brush, and I'm just going to clean up my blending. And this is nothing on the brush. I'm just starting with the outside, making sure i got my edges feathered there, right there. Sometimes I just really like to kind of blend with my fine-tuning blending at the end. And then I can see if I need to add more or, or do something a little different. I swear, I don't know, I know why MAC changed their brushes, but I just wish they hadn't changed their brushes. This brush is so good for blending. Like, I feel it just fixes everything. Okay, so we are looking pretty good there, okay? So now that I see what I'm looking like, okay, I want to go ahead, when I look straight on, like I'm looking straight on here, I want to add a little bit more shadow right up here of the darker color. And I'm going to go back in with the shade Chiclet right here. And I'm just going to kind of connect it. Remember, I didn't connect it at first, but now I am. So it's more apparent that it's a halo. Because sometimes when you have like a lot of folds in your eyes like mine, see how the difference that just makes when I just look forward? So I'm looking forward now. You can just see more of the shadow.
and it just really gives the appearance that my mobile eyelid is a little bit bigger okay and now I do want to go back in I just wipe that brush off and a clean like I just use this wash rack right here it's dedicated to makeup and I just wash it like once a week and then I'm gonna go back in with a tiny bit more Mr. Sandman and I'm gonna extend some up there so we have the same type of spotlight effect plus me extending that other color chiclet really helped our halo situation so you can really kind of see that it's a halo lot. Okay, so I'm going to add some liner and the rest of my face makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so this is the final look. Let me know what you think. I love it and I think that these shadows apply so easy. If you can see from the tutorial, I didn't have to do much to them at all. And they blended out very quickly. As you also saw, I used the ColourPop mascara that just came out. So this is my second time using it. I think it does a very good job of lengthening my lashes, but as far as like building up and making sure they're black, you kind of have to build it up, put several coats on it. And I don't really see something as far as like making it more voluminous, but I felt it's like lengthening and kind of stretching my lashes out. I do like that because my lashes are very tight, very curly, can kind of go this way, that way. That's what they do on <laughs> the normal. So uh, let's talk about the palette. I think it's gorgeous. As you can see, it's a little bit messy. Uh, this shade right here, which is uh, Sleeper. Yeah, it has it on. Oh, they're inverted on the back. But Sleeper is right here. Sleeper is very messy, but I'm glad it's at the bottom of the palette and not at the, in the middle where it's kind of going to go everywhere. Although it is kind of going into fan fiction, which is that lighter color that I used as my first transition shade. This shade was so nice. It blended out like a dream. It was very easy. I didn't have to go back in many times. So, um... I just feel like ColourPop did an excellent job on this palette. It's very hard to get purples to perform very well, especially for like $12. So, but these shimmers, these metallics, uh, the foil glitter shades, they are very buttery. They're very creamy. They're, they have a lot of texture. They have a lot, I wouldn't say texture. They have a lot of body. So you can feel like it has some oomph to it and they're not very sheer which allows them to just pack on very nice and you don't even have to dig your brush in you use a nice synthetic brush and you'll be able to pick it up very easily i feel like shades like this uh chiclet and bare minimum these are like some of the two hardest shades to formulate in the history of makeup okay so for them to perform so easily was just very impressive i have several shades like this in my collection and it takes a lot for you to just get the amount of pigmentation that I got in one swoop or just a couple swipes. So I'm very impressed. Now, this fact that I did not use Pretty Cool, but Pretty Cool also has that glitter in it and that matte. And I'm just like, why didn't we say we wanted to stop doing this? Why ColourPop? I know they work in advance. They never sleep over at ColourPop. So, you know, maybe they'll listen one day, but we do not want glitter in our mattes. It's like serves no purpose. So the only shades that I did not use in this tutorial was uh, Pretty Cruel and Kitten Finish right here, the shade here. But this shade, uh, Sleeper, was a pleasant surprise because it looks kind of brown in the pan, but it comes out very mauve and purple. So I think overall, I really love this palette. I give it like two thumbs up. Um, I'm very impressed with it. I'm glad I did pick it up because I feel like the shade uh, Mr. Sandman that I have in the middle right here is so different from anything I have in my collection, even Earthshine, or maybe even if you're interested in the Huda Beauty Mini Obsessions, the Amethyst palette, but you don't want to spend $27. I think this would be a very good dupe for it. I think, is that a nine pan palette? I feel like those are nine pan, right? Um, size is a little bit smaller, but this one, I'm so happy I picked it up because, like I said, I was going to sleep over it, but I am very satisfied. Oh, and I'm sorry, I did not use Do or Do, and that's another very pretty duochrome purple. So, like I said, these, these shades, if you're in the purple, don't have a lot of purple in your collection, and I would just really implore you to pick up this palette because it is so pretty. So, let me know what you guys think about the look. Did you pick up this palette or not? And just let me know down below in the comments and give this video a big thumbs up and hit the notification bell so you know when I uh, upload another video. And I'll have another video for you very, very soon. I'll talk to you later.
care. Bye. And my chair dance. Mm, mm, mm. Bye, YouTube.